Well, what is up, guys? I hope you guys are having a blessed day, and welcome to my man cave. I'm out here in the shop today. I'm gonna see if I can't do a custom dye on this light blue wombat. But I would be amiss not to mention we do have a special guest. I'm gonna, gonna let you in on it, who it is. Oh, Buster, you picked that moment in time to bite your butt when all the people want to say, hey, buddy, all right, okay. He's going to be joining us here in the background. He'd been just sleeping so peacefully, and as soon as I bring the camera up, he's got to go lick his backside. <laughs> all right, so without any further ado, um, we're going to put this in a shaving cream bed, and we're going to put dye on it. Um, three colors. I'm thinking a uh, circular kind of deal with, uh, you gotta have a plan for these things. Just you think it out. Circle of green to a purple or blue violet. I'm sorry. And then a, a brown edge and all of that's gonna blend together with some pulling and pushing of ink or dye rather. First, uh, this ugly 180 under here, it used to be, looks like 177, and they said, no, nope. let's make it 180. Let's just get a weight on it, <clears throat> because I record these numbers and uh, make them available to whoever might be ending up with this disc. 179, I don't know if you see that, 179. Set that over there. I'm gonna write that on my little piece of tape. This just goes with the disc, it goes under the bottom. You'll see more of that later. And set that to the side. Well, what do you say we uh, clean this thing up a little bit? Now, I've already taken the F2 stamp off of here, and the person who gets this disc will absolutely know this is a factory second and that I removed this stamp for the purpose of putting dye and making a prettier disc. I might do something with that X later too because I can't get that off unless I just mask it, cover it with something darker, or turn it into something like maybe a fish. I was thinking. I just get started. Keep talking about it. I gotta do this thing. Um, because I've cleaned this once already, but I've had my fingers all over it. My fingers have oils. I can even see my fingerprints on there. I don't know what you guys can see on that. A little bit of alcohol, clean rag, not anything with a dye on it already. This will evaporate off immediately, but all those fingerprints are gone. It's beautiful. It's a pretty disc as it is, but we're gonna make that even prettier. We're gonna get us a tray here, and even though this is a larger than average disc, this Wombat, it's a little bit bigger in circumference than say your mainstream uh, drivers and so forth. Um, like the difference is not huge, but I'm holding this edge the same so you can say, anyway, I digress. But I'm still gonna use this size mold. You can see here that that wombat is gonna take every bit of that space. But see, that'll allow me to actually put my dies on here. I'm gonna spread my bed out to the very edges. And then that's gonna allow me to have a surface all the way out to this edge in this in this particular bed my mold uh, to be more precise of you know where's this brown line gonna be where's gonna be the edge of my green in the center um, whereas a smaller disc things can move around more and you can get off I will wipe that off again with my finger oils using magic eraser I do that last last second well let's say we grab some shaving cream oh what we're using today is barbasol 
some pro chemical uh, lemon zest neon lemon zest we're using an I dye poly lilac or purple I dye orange and those colors I know that's not the colors I said we we're going to end up with but we're going on to a blue disc so yeah the yellow and the blue is going to make my green center and so on you know it's just color theory stuff so always shake her up real good get a nice starting point and I like to uh, go ahead and put a bunch of moisture in here because when I mix up my shaving cream <laughs> I like it to be very moist and that allows you to start dispersing the bubbles and getting this stuff down to a nice flat mixture. I've got this old can. I'm trying to finish up this see. I figured it's about to run out. Honestly, that's going to be all we need. I'm going to give that a little more. Where's my spritzer? Too much stuff going on. Spritz. Lots of water. Get rid of a couple things. We have our professional mixing tool here. I'm going to get this bad boy creamy. It's going to look a lot like whipped cream. I don't want to mix it too violently and mix in a lot of bubbles, but uh, we want to get it a good consistency and get all that moisture dispersed in it. I'm going to put a little more. Uh, the moisture also helps activate these dyes, these powdered dyes. You know, they, they're so dry. They are like talc with color, <laughs> major color. And it goes onto these things, onto the surface, and it creates a... Uh, point of contact to the disc and this medium the whipped cream just holds it up holds it up there says so like hey I can't reach you otherwise let me uh, get all up against you and let's get all personal like I want to be one with you <laughs> that's what happens they impregnate that plastic they get into that uh, every every pore of the plastic they'll even work their way through a solid disc Anyway, I'm just running my mouth while I uh, get all this disc all out to the edge real nice where I can work it. Um, this doesn't have to be like a thousand percent perfect, but you do want a relatively flat surface to work with. So I'm getting everything out to basic shape I want and out to the edges and then I'm going to use a kind of a credit card thing actually it's an Ollie's card to get my final flat with let's wipe that off keep a trash can nearby keep your rag nearby and you got your stuff clean and ready to go for the next time put it put it back over there where did all these go here we are you can use about anything for this as long as it's uh ollie's army daggum it i'm just trying to get a kind of a flat surface to work with um, less likely to have bubbles this way. And I do have background music going. Uh, props to the artist. It's a playlist with various artists. Earlier I was listening to House Fires. And I think right now it's in my 
got a praise playlist because, hey, you got to praise people. He's good and worthy to be praised. And we're going to call that pretty, pretty good. We're going to call it pretty good. We are going to next start the dies. So we're going to start with the center and work out. Um, I'm looking at my kind of thinking, how do I want this to come out on the final product? My yellow, how big do I want my yellow ring versus my purple uh, blue violet ring that's going to be using this lilac right out here it's going to be a a dark on dark so it's going to be a very prominently dark layer so i'm thinking how much variation and how much brown edge i don't want a lot of brown brown's not super pretty but i just i want that kind of purple to brown and have a blend between them so i'm just thinking as i go you know you, you <laughs> You can uh, always change your mind and go another direction. You can make a mistake and have to go <laughs> another direction. But I'm just gonna start in the middle with this. Uh, we're gonna have yellow going on to blue to make a green center. This stuff is a little coarser, I will say. Um, I love Pro Chemical dye. I love the eye dye poly. I've also used some worm dip and some other stuff. Um, but this stuff is cakier. Maybe it's like it's got a little more moisture content. So somewhat hard to get um, like a precision shake. I'm just using, I'm actually using a, a, a what is this, a wire tie. And I'm just knocking it off of this thing. Because I'm going to kind of activate this here in a minute. By spritzing it down with water. And another thing about shaving cream is it's very... I'm going to get a little bolder here. It's very forgiving. Um, I can actually take my my tool that I'm using to pull this die around with is which is what I'm going to be doing in just a minute and I'm going on kind of thick here too because this is not a bolt as bold a color although this neon might be a little bolder onto this color than it normally would than a normal yellow because it's a neon and I'm going to do just what's on my thing here. I'm going to call that good with, uh, with this neon yellow. What is it called? Lemon, lemon zest. Neon lemon zest. Pro chemical. All right. That is my center. And for whatever it's not symmetrical, my manipulation with this tool right here. <laughs> It's gonna make it make it good, all right. Next layer, it's gonna be our purple. Purple. You know what? I might I might go ahead and put my brown edge out there. See a place that's kind of dipped down. That's okay. So I'm adding orange to blue to make brown, and with this. It's, this is the iodine. See how much more powdered it is? How dry and fine? It is like a talc. So I'm just gonna tap it around my outer edge. And this being a dark color, I don't need it as heavy. So I'm just gonna kinda keep it light cause it's gonna fade out to this edge. And I will say this, every, every disc I've ever dyed, it always looks a little different in the final product than what I think it will. 
and I I don't have extensive experience at this and by no means do I call myself a professional and we're going to go with that amount of orange on this but I have done it a couple of three six hundred times no I'm just not six hundred um and I have a feel I have a little bit of a feel for it now um you can see how this is starting to activate in that moist shaving cream and become much more prevalent once it hits moisture it starts to spread out and activate and then as the little bubbles break in here and uh, dissolve over time as it's sitting in the bed setting up and getting all dank oh yeah stuff happens it kind of spreads out uh, by the way we're going back with our uh, purple it's going to be our purple layer between the well, like I said purple between the other two and it's going to be pretty bold color so I'm not going to go super heavy I'm kind of holding it up high and <clears throat> giving this a dusting kind of kind of approach you don't want to do this with the fan blowing on you call that pretty close to good a little overlap get our lid back on you don't want to spill this stuff by the way it's a hot mess if you get a whole lot of that going going on um what do we need to do now let's activate this yeah, I'm not adding any, more, adding any more color, so we're going to spritz this down. I'm having me some uh, Country Time Lemonade today. Oh, so good. All right. Let's get our, uh, let's get our stuff going here. Let's wake her up. You'll see a big change with this water being added I'm getting a little crazy cuz I'm gonna be oh that's gonna that center is gonna look wicked I just have a feeling but I think we're good on moisture sometimes I actually let it sit like this a minute but today there's a bug in here today I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna let that sit the longest. I'm gonna work from the outside and start coming in. I wanna start kind of blending these colors in with some with some lines. And I don't know. Honestly, I'm I'm making this up as I go, people, so uh give me a break. You can do, and then right there, I just pulled the brown, uh, the uh, orange out to the outside. Now, if you want to keep your colors more pure, wipe the tool off. You know, if you just want to blend, but I'm, I think it's going to be cool. And I really want to. This is where I am going to wipe my tool off each time that I pull out from this yellow. Because I don't want to get that next layer into here. You know what I'm saying? I want to, I want to pull this color out and not this, drag that color into the center. But like if I didn't want that big glob right there, I can like turn it under the, I just did what I said I wasn't going to do. And I'm going to show you how I can fix that. 
and just kind of kind of bury it because I'm wiping it off each time now and not getting distracted. <laughs> oh, that's going to be wicked, man. It's either going to be really cool or it's going to be... It's going to be really cool. Let's just, let's just go with that, man. I'm just wondering if any more will distract or add to what I got going on here. Maybe some... Maybe some little... little extras. Couple of extra little long tentacles that come on over, you know. I don't know. I don't know how well this is going to pick up. And remember, these are the green ones. We're adding yellow to blue, so this is going to be a green burst center. I got a big chunk out. All right, I'm gonna get too crazy here. I'm gonna give it one last little spritz. And then I'm going to get my tape on here. Remember this guy? Gonna make a, a little wrinkle in the middle here. So now we have us a uh, a little handle that works pretty good. Um. I'm going to give this one last wipe off with my magic eraser to get the last of the fingerprints that I've put on there. Actually see a little something on there. I want to work a little harder and get it off. Yeah. It was just from handling it. I don't have anything to orient on the front except no well there's nothing to orient on the front period <clears throat> I am going to let this go down one corner first and then come to rest because otherwise I think I might have too many pockets that don't get air and they'll end up being like a bubble um, I just felt like playing in it, I think. Um, what am I gonna do here? I'm gonna just put a little sprinkle. Don't do this at home, kids. This is, it's crazy. A little, a little spritz. Okay, we're going in. We're going in, Captain. I'm gonna start on this edge here. I'm gonna let it touch and then just ease it down. Uh, 
just gonna I don't want to do a whole lot of movement because it's already going to do some uh, migrating and this foam's gonna as these bubbles dissolve this foam is going to come up onto this under edge of the of the rim but what I am doing is making sure that I've got edge to edge coverage and I'm gonna call it good you don't want to get too happy pushing things around I'm gonna give it just a little movement get a little migration started and this will push up and fill that void I'm not worried about that as those bubbles come off um, they will start letting the disc sink down into the uh, bed further I'm gonna get the little bit of excess off right here before it starts going and then we're gonna put this bad boy over on a shelf and we're gonna check it probably tomorrow morning should be good to go all right we'll check back in on it well all right guys here we are back with the wombat came out pretty good don't you think just kidding ready well bam not too shabby i love the lime the lime is where it's at. And then the pull-ins to the blue. And remember, this started out life here. Let me make sure I'm right. It's the Neon Lemon Zest. This was the I Dye Lilac. And this, of course, was the orange that made the brown. But, yeah. I think it's pretty cool. I love the edges. Um, I'll give you a, let's see, I don't think I can zoom while I'm recording. Anywho, man, there you have it. Another one in the books. I really like how it came out. Uh, give me some comments if, uh, you know a good way to get rid of the, uh, F2X. I know that a darker pigment will do it, but, you know, I'm not hiding from anyone that it's a factory second. You can see, I can't tell in the viewfinder if you can see the factory second stamp where it was taken off with ethanol and alcohol. Uh, excuse me, acetone and alcohol. <clears throat> but yeah, unless I use just a dark pigment, I mean, I could mask it out with some other dark center. And just like put a, a liquid dye on there, like one of these, uh, one of these dipping glow. These are worm dips. Spike it, and make some, and then you got your uh, these guys. I'm trying all kind of stuff, but uh, yeah, you guys who know, let me know. You know, let's have a community here and share some knowledge. I am learning got lots to learn but hey thanks for watching welcome to my man cave and join me on the next one